On February 9th, 2018, a malware designed to self-spread inside the network and destroy each device it infects was detected in the Winter Olympics network. According to U.S. intelligence, Russian military spies were behind the attack and it managed to infect several hundred computers used by authorities at the 2018 Winter Olympics. The hack was a retaliation for banning the Russian team from the Olympic Games in Pyeongchang. To test its true power, however, the Olympic destroyer must face Javelin in a ruthless cyber battle. What follows is that fight. In this demonstration, we will show you how the actual malware sample that was used in the Olympics network would operate if Javelin was installed on the victim's Active Directory network. As you can see, there are no active alarms and the machine is deployed with Javelin's AD Protect. We're running the initial dropper as a local administrator. Once the malware is executed, it drops additional executables and performs reconnaissance and credentials theft. Javelin alerts on the reconnaissance as soon as the malware attempts to test some of the domain's user accounts. It analyzes the memory of the suspicious endpoint and highlights the malware responsible for the attack, detects the integrated PSExec code along with the wiper code, and recognizes the actual recon commands used by the malware. At this point, the malware also tries to perform past the hash attack, using the stolen domain credentials from the LSAS process. It fails to do so, triggering an additional alarm. Because the malware failed to hijack privileged credentials, it couldn't perform lateral movement towards the domain network, thereby only destroying the local machine. Javelin could have prevented the malware from destroying the local machine if the automatic mitigation feature was activated. It has the ability to freeze any operation of the malware. If the malware succeeded to fetch privileged accounts, Javelin would have stopped it in the lateral movement towards the domain computers.